hey guys and welcome back to my channel i hope y'all are having a lovely day so i am back for some empties <laughs> yes i know y'all know it is that time for empties and i am really excited because i have used up a lot of things i'm really hyped to show you these products i only have a couple that are like almost empty but I'm gonna go ahead and show them anyway because by the time I'm done with them next week, they're going to be completely empty. So if you are interested in seeing all the products that I have used up this past winter, then just keep on watching. So let's start off with this one. Um, I literally have like maybe a use left of this, maybe two if I, you know, am not super generous. Y'all see Ellie back there. She is the biggest complainer, the biggest complainer. <laughs> Y'all still ain't got my package. Amazon just drove by and still ain't got my package. We about to fight. Me and Amazon are about to fight. So this is a TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. I don't even need to repurchase it because I already have a backup sitting back on the shelf waiting to be used. This is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners of all time. I've been using this for a very long time. I don't talk about it that much anymore just because like I it's just always here, you know what I mean? Like it's one of those products that it's always here. I feel like I don't need to talk about it every single time I use it because like, y'all know it's always here. So I'm finally finished with this bottle. It takes me forever to go through a um, green tea super moist because it doesn't take a lot of product to get through my hair. And I also like to use it minimally so that it doesn't weigh down my, hand, my strands too much. I actually have it in my hair right now. I also used up, the Shiseido Facial Cottons, some of my favorite facial cotton to use for my toners and stuff like that. This is not an empty. I don't know why that's in there. Anyway, <laughs> the other night I used up this um, Full Moon and Libra Bubbling Magic Milk Bath from Rule by Mercury Co. I actually did a reel on this, so if you want to see how this um works in action you can go on my instagram and go to that reel um and you will see how to use this but i will kind of i'll insert a clip of what the full thing looks like but it's like a milk bath with different um flowers and you know there's like some a little bit of glitter in there um and there was a bubble bath shaped like a smudge stick in here but this was one of the most relaxing bath sessions i have ever had i did this on the night of full moon in libra and this has like a citrus berry kind of scent. I'm definitely going to be getting more of these full moon bath kits from her. Um, I have a black owned body care haul coming with lots of different bath bombs, um, bath soaks, lotions and body butters all from black owned companies. This is a black owned company. So definitely check out Rule by Mercury Co. This was an amazing product. Um, she has an Etsy shop. Everything is handmade, it's just her, so um, you'll have to catch her restocks and things like that, but this was bomb. I used up another Main Choice Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. You guys know this is one of my favorite products from the Main Choice. Super moisturizing, gives lots of definition to the hair. I love this product, so I go through these often. Um, ooh! Oh, that was at the bottom. I just made a huge mess, but um, that's what she looks like. Um, I have not gone through a bold buttery gel. I'm sure y'all are like, Brie, what's up? I've just been focusing on using other things. Um, it doesn't really have anything to do with the gel itself. Um, I've just been focusing on using up some other things that I knew were on their way out, but I'm still using it. I'm like a little more than halfway through my most recently opened bowl buttery gel so that will probably be in the next empties i also used up camille rose curl maker i have a little bit in here but it's not enough to do a full head of hair with so i will probably stick this over the other bottle that i have and um use it that way or try to cut it open i usually don't cut my bottles open because i'm clumsy and i always end up hurting myself but this is curl maker um marshmallow and agave leaf extract a sweet defining jelly I love this product. You guys know I really focused on using more of my Camille Rose stylers over the last year because I had like two of these and hadn't opened them. So this is also why I kind of haven't been focusing on bold buttery gel a lot because I've been going 
really out of my way to use up this product because it doesn't take a lot to get it through your hair. Um, I've been using this a lot. I've been using Kinky Curly a lot and I've been using my um, Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic a lot, which you guys know I have a liter size of, so I won't be done with that anytime soon. But like, I've probably, realistically, I've probably gone through like one of the 16 ounce bottles of that <laughs> if I had one of those, but I love Curl Maker. I've been using this since I transitioned. Um, it was one of the first products to help me achieve a wash and go that actually lasted for several days. So I love this product. I already have another one in my stash. So absolutely 100% will be repurchasing. I'm happy that I reintroduced it into my routine because I realized how much I missed it and how many of the products I have in my collection now that work with it and I can actually get good use out of it. I had two products from Pinky Blue. These are the Whipped Soap Smoothie and the Whipped Body Butter and the Scent Bohemian Blue Banana. I literally have one little dollop of this left, which I am going to use tonight, which is why it's in here. I love the Whipped Soap Smoothies. They're literally like a sugar scrub infused with the soap. You can kind of see the texture right there. And they're so great. So you get a cleansing as well as an exfoliation step all in one. And then the body butters are just like nothing on the market. They're amazing. They are softening. They're not greasy. They give you this beautiful glow to the skin. They literally make your skin feel just renewed and rejuvenated. I just placed a huge order with them. I actually got it a couple of days ago with different scents. Um, so Peaky Blue is always a repurchase. But Bohemian Blue Banana is really, really nice. It's like a fruity creamy banana scent and it's so good i also have two bath and body works lotions um the moisturizing body creams i have the love the love rose vanilla and the jasmine sandalwood i can't repurchase this because this has been discontinued um but i absolutely love the love rose and vanilla scent this is such a beautiful fragrance one that you can just put this on and go out of the door and you don't have to apply perfume but this smells really good with some of my other rose fragrances. Um, I like to use this and then top it with my um, C Fiori perfume. So I went through two Bath & Body Works body creams. Um, I really only, I'm dropping stuff. I really only like the aromatherapy scents. So um, when they have sales, I do tend to go ahead and pick them up. But a lot of the new aromatherapy scents really haven't intrigued me. So I just haven't purchased any. But I will repurchase Love Rose Vanilla. Some more bath time stuff. I used up a Lush peachy bath bomb. One of my favorite bath bombs from Lush is literally in the shape of a peach. It smells like peaches. It gives you this really pretty um, orange and pink bath water. I think I have, I think I took an Instagram shot of it. I'll insert it in here if I can find it. One of the best bath bombs that Lush makes. Love it to death. I also used up this Curl Smith Superfood for Hair Ultimate Links 30 Day Therapy, a uh, high potency nutrition for all hair types. So I only went through a 30 day pack of these. I kept trying to get more, but they were always sold out. So I ended up going back to my main choice because I can always get them and I know that I really like them. In comparison, do I feel like these work? Absolutely. But I feel like the main choice vitamins give me way more benefits for my skin than these do. This definitely worked well with my hair, um, but as far as my skin goes, it didn't affect it in any way, which is fine. But when I use the main choice ones, they have my skin really supple and plump and definitely like more hydrated from within. So this is really difficult to get. It costs more than the main choice ones. Would I use these again? Yes, but I have like three backups of my main choice ones now at this point because I had a lot of coupons that I needed to use at Sally's. So I just picked them up from Sally's and I have plenty of backups of those. So I really won't need to repurchase this, but right now this is, I'm not trying to go through all of that to try to get a vitamin. Like they were just completely sold out everywhere. They were sold out in Ulta. They were sold out on their website. I ain't doing all that. So I just went back to something that I know works. So I used up this Camille Rose Beauty Tea Nectar Repair Cholesterol Treatment. It's an exotic blend for dry, brittle, and lifeless textured hair. I did a self-care Sunday on this a while ago and back then it was just okay to me and now it is just okay to me. Um, 
it did all right, but it didn't really do that much for my hair. I really like their Subaki, um, their Subaki Nectar treatment. Is that what it's called? No, the Subaki Strength treatment, whatever it's called. That one, as well as the Oud Rich Moisture Infusion treatment. Those two are great. This one, it's just there. I used it up. It was cool, but I won't repurchase. I'll just repurchase the other two. I also finished up the Manoy Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip. Um, this is protein and glycerin free, of course, from Sultanicals. This is basically like the protein free version of Afrotastic. I love this so much. I absolutely 100% will repurchase. It's a beautiful moisturizing treatment. I like to use this just on days where I just feel like I want extra moisture or I will use this after doing a stronger protein type treatment that tells you to go in with um, a deep conditioning treatment afterwards. So I love this beautiful product. We'll absolutely repurchase. And I also used up my Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard Natural Styling Gel. Y'all know me and this and the Frizzwiz Leave-In Conditioner from Sultanicals were tight. Um, I love that combination. I'm trying to figure out what I use this up with. I think I ended up finishing this off with my niche leave-in conditioner, if I remember correctly. I think that's right. I think I used this up with my niche leave-in conditioner, which was also a great wash and go. So that leave-in works really well with Uncle Funky's. It works really well with Camille Rose, and it works really, really well with this too. Love this product. This is another OG product. I got into this after I got into the Camille Rose Curl Maker. I absolutely love both. I would say this does have a stronger, kind of crispier hold. It's a little bit more difficult to find things to pair with this. This is definitely kind of a selfish product, but I love it. I just, I had it in my collection for a while because I was trying to get my hands on the leave-in and for some reason it was really hard to buy. Like every time I would buy it, it would get taken out of my cart. Um, I don't know what was going on with that. So I just ended up trying to find other things to use this with and it worked out really well and I finished it off. So I think I'm going to purchase the 16 ounce of that. Um, because I found myself using that a lot no matter what the season was. So I definitely am going to be picking that up again in a 16 ounce. I wish y'all could see Ellie. She is laid out in front of my space heater with her belly up. Because it's actually like cold. It was like 80 something degrees um, all weekend and then now it's cold. I just don't know. Okay. I also used up the unicurl moisture fantasy moisturizing conditioner i love this stuff one of the best rinse out conditioners on the market um this is a rinse out conditioner you only need to leave it in for like five minutes and like when i tell y'all my hair eats this stuff up it makes my hair look so juicy y'all have seen it in action it it just makes my hair look so beautiful juicy defined everything um anything that i have done a video on i will leave pertinent links in the i cards and what i can't fit in the cards will go into the description box below but this is an amazing conditioner i already have a backup because alexis has kept me stopped so shout out to her <laughs> I also used the Camille Rose Rose Cleansing Milk with flaxseed milk and rose powder. This is um, from their vegan cleansing milk collections. This was the original launch. Um, and you guys do know, I have mentioned before that the ingredients list have changed since they have gone into mass market production. I haven't used any of the ones that have gone into the stores, but I really loved this one and the orange blossom one, which I think is now called Neroli Blossom. Um, and there's also, a, I think it's called White Tea. I still have that one that I'm working on finishing up, but I really loved this one as a co-wash um, and the Orange Blossom one, which that one had like a lathering surfactant in it. So I love that so much. I will probably try them because I really do love the originals. So I do want to see if I will like them, you know, the newer versions, but the original formulations were a bomb. So I hope these newer ones live up to the hype of the originals because they were amazing. I have this First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. Um, this removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. This was a really nice creamy cleanser. I got this in a like holiday kit 
um, with some other products from the brand. And I would totally buy this again. This was really, really nice. Plus I think it comes in much larger packaging than this. This was a two fluid ounce, but I think the original one comes in like a six, maybe eight fluid ounce. Um, so this was really, really nice. It's very creamy, it lathers, it gives you a really nice rich lather and it gets off all the dirt and the oils, but it doesn't strip the skin. So this was really, really nice um, on days where I'm taking off my makeup. I mostly use cleansers like this um, on days when I'm taking off my makeup because I don't like to use my um, Urban Skin RX cleansing bars because I don't like to get the makeup into the sponges. So I will use, you know, like an actual like liquid or cream cleanser to go in and remove the last of my makeup after I do my um, first like oil cleansing step. I have the F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial from Drunk Elephant with vitamin F microbees and sodium PCA. This is amazing. This I would use anytime my skin just felt extra parched. So you can use this alone as a moisturizer or you can use it on top of whatever moisturizer you're using. This was so good. I'm definitely going to buy another one. The Sephora sale is coming up. So I plan on picking up another one of this. This is just a really nice product when your skin is parched. Um, on days when like I'm outside and sometimes like my face will get a little bit scorched. This was awesome. Um, during the winter when my skin would get really dry sometimes, especially if I had to be outside for a long period of time. Um, this really, really, really came in handy. I don't like a lot of Drunk Elephant products. Actually, most of them I don't like, but this I love. Next up in the skincare world, this is a different uh, Daily Deep Cleanser Benzoyl Peroxide Treatment. This is their Sensitive Skin Formula. This was really, really nice. Um, I only picked it up because at the time, I couldn't find my acne free anywhere. So I like to use this when I'm having really, really bad hormonal breakouts. Um, and usually after like three to four days of continuous use, um, products like this will pretty much knock the breakout out. I need to go purchase some more. I need to hit up Walmart or somebody and purchase some more. Um, this one is really nice. I find this to be more moisturizing than the acne free. Um, this of course is uh, formulated with ceramides. It's a very creamy, creamy formulation. Um, does really, really well on the skin. So I will do like my oil cleansing step, rinse all my makeup off. Um, and use this or I will use this as my only cleanser if I'm not wearing makeup that day. Um, I usually use this at nighttime. I don't like to use this and then go out into the sun. So I will use this at nighttime um, and just do, you know, a purely moisturizing step that evening. And this usually knocks out the acne within like three to four days, um, which is great for me. Mostly when I have acne, it's hormonal. I'll get it right around here and in my chin and also like wearing a mask for like eight to 10 hours a day has also really exacerbated that. So whenever I have a bad patch of hormonal acne, it's exacerbated by wearing a mask and cleansers like this really help. Highly suggest this um, if you're looking for something that's more so formulated for sensitive skin, but you also have acne prone skin. But for me, I could just go back to using my acne free cause it's like much cheaper. Like I would say about $10 cheaper. Um, and it does the same thing, it's just not as moisturizing. And then I also used up the Even Tone Night Treatment from Urban Skin RX. This has 2% hydroquinone. This fades the appearance of dark marks and sunspots, even skin tone, and reduces the appearance of pore size. I've gotten a lot of questions about the difference between this and my Retinol Rapid Repair, which you guys know I have also been using for a very long time. I'm actually using that right now, so. This is not a retinol. This is formulated with 2% hydroquinone. I don't know the whole specifics and science around that ingredient, but it does help to fade dark marks um, and it helps to even out discoloration that may be in your skin. This is gentler because it's not a strong retinol product. The Rapid Repair is meant to be used as a dark spot treatment, but you can also use it around your, you know, your entire face if that is what you choose to do. Um, the retinol definitely is not, I would say, suited for sensitive skin. It will make your skin feel slightly sensitive. Um, this one is definitely going to be more so geared towards people who need help with dark spots, but need something that's going to be more gentle on the skin. 
and not irritate their, their skin. The thing is, this is going to take longer to see results than the retinol rapid repair because the retinol rapid repair is formulated to work very quickly. So it depends on your needs and your skin type. I really enjoy this and I would totally use it again. Just the results for me weren't fast enough, especially um, after going off my medication and then having that really, really, really bad bout of acne. Um, my hormonal acne is definitely more so in check when I am on my meds. So um, the retinol rapid repair is already clearing up some spots that this was not able to clear up. But it is really nice. I really like um, the way that it affected the texture of my skin. It just made my skin feel very supple. And it did help with the dark marks. It just took longer to do so. So really, it just depends on what exactly is that you need to be done for you. But if you have a more sensitive skin type, I would say absolutely 100% go for the even tone night treatment over the rapid repair. I have a hand soap. This is the Frosted Biscotti gentle foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. Me and my brother finished this off. This has citrus frosting, maple sugar, and warm cookies. It smells amazing. Um, we're also almost done with Marshmallow Fireside and we also went through a CO Bigelow one. I think it's just their lemon scent. Bomb. But that one we had in the kitchen and I think my mom threw it away so it's not in here. I also used up this was a bath bomb. I think it was called Man in the Moon or something like that, or Good Night Moon, something like that. I did a haul um, with like a bunch of books, body care, all that good stuff. So this was that bath bomb. I just put it in there to remind myself to mention it because when they sent the bath bomb, it was in there just naked. So more hair care. I also have the Sultanicals Magical Molasses Deep Reconstructor with Black Slap, Black Slap black strap molasses, coconut oil, and silica. I really enjoy this deep conditioner. She recently launched this in a liter size when she did her latest liter uh, sale, um, but I'm not convinced that I need this product in a liter size, so I didn't get it. But um, this is really, really nice. This, I would say, is definitely more of like a um, elasticity treatment. It gives good moisture, um, but it also does kind of add some plumpness and strength to the curls as well. I would say this is more on the balancing side. So this is really nice and I would totally repurchase it, just not in a liter size. Then I have another Fenugreek Detangling Pre-Poo from Nature's Little Secret. I love this stuff. Um, this was the last jar that I had of the old formulation. So the other two I have, I have the 12 ounces up there. Those are the new formula. The new formula is a lot smoother. It's not as chunky as the old one. A lot of people said that they had issues with it. I personally didn't, but I definitely am hyped about the new formulation. Whenever Charnay reformulates, it's always better than it was the first time around. So I absolutely love this pre-poo. It's one of my favorite pre-poos and I can't wait to dig into my new jars. And then I also finished up this favorite. This is the Adwo Beauty Bailment Deep Conditioning Treatment. Bomb elasticity treatment, perfect balance of moisture and protein. Absolutely love it. If you're one of those like minimalistic naturals, this is like the only deep conditioner you need to have in your routine, like ever. It's amazing. Um, I'm not a minimalist, so there's that. But I love this and I already have a 16 ounce sitting in my cart waiting to be repurchased. I love this product. It's bomb. If you haven't tried it, you should, because it's amazing. Those are all of the hair care products. Um, before I get into that, I have one more vitamin. These are the Ray Women's Multivitamin 30 Day, Su 30 Day Supply. I know y'all are like, what? You don't have Ollie in here? Y'all know I, I've been using the Women's Multivitamin for years and they changed it. I personally was excited when I, when I heard that they were going to be making them without the sugar crystals because you know they get stuck in your teeth. You know, that's, that's, that's not hot. <laughs> um, but not only did they change that they change the taste of them. They don't taste the same anymore. And they lowered the concentration of, of a lot of the most important vitamins in the gummies. And part of the reason why I was taking them was because they had a relatively high concentration of those, you know, vitamins that I was looking for that you don't usually get in gummy vitamins. I was pissed, y'all. So I found these um, and these kind of looked kind of you know added up to what I usually look for in a multivitamin 
I really, really like these. I went to go repurchase them when I went to Target the other day and they didn't have any. So I'm gonna have to order some offline. Um, but I really, really, really like these. So I think that I'm just going to be taking these. They also have um, a minty taste to them. So when you swallow them, um, if you do like have that thing where like you kind of burp when you swallow pills, it's nice and minty and it doesn't have like a fishy kind of weird vitamin taste going on. So I really like those. RIP to Ollie Women's Daily Multivitamin. If they change the melatonin, I'm gonna riot. So if y'all hear that I'm in jail, it's because they changed the melatonin. I'm just saying. <laughs> I used up a She Scented Co-Wash. This is a Tahiti Cocktail Conditioning Co-Wash. This is really, really nice. This has dragon fruit, hibiscus, and passion fruit for all hair types. This is a really nice, just pillow, pillowy, cushiony, um, co-wash product. I do prefer the blueberry co-wash, which I'm working on finishing up now, but this is really, really nice. I wouldn't like go out of my way to repurchase it, but like during a sale, I would totally repurchase it. This isn't one of the products that I pay full price for. There are several She Scented products that y'all know I would pay full price for, but this is not one of them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is really, really good. Highly suggest it. It just doesn't beat out some of the other co-washes that I love a little bit more from them. And then I also finished up this Niche Cleansed Moisturizing and Cleansing Sulfate-Free Shampoo. This gently and thoroughly removes product buildup without stripping hair and scalp of natural oils. Yes, yes, and yes, I love this. I'm so sick of the birds complaining about this actually cleaning your hair. I use this because it cleans your hair. It's called Cleansed. Damn it. <laughs> Listen, I am so tired of people like bitching and complaining to these companies about making products that actually get their hair clean. Your hair is supposed to be clean. Get over it. Let us people that like having clean hair that doesn't have buildup and is actually healthy. Let us live. Let us live. I love this. This is so good. Michelle don't need to change anything about this formula. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Um, I use this often. Um, I will either use this at the end of the week just as my regular shampoo session or on days when I need to clarify. I will clarify my hair with a clarifier and then I will follow up with a moisturizing shampoo. And this is one of the shampoos that I will follow up with as my moisturizing shampoo step. It just helps to balance the pH in your hair. This is bomb. It has a really beautiful formula. It's a pillowy formula. It deposits a little bit on your hair but it still gets your hair very clean i absolutely love this so much plus it smells really nice too i just i'm such a fan i love this the only reason i did not repurchase it when they did their last sale was because this was the only product that i needed and i'm trying really really hard not to just order one item you know like that's so wasteful like i'm just i'm trying to be better about my carbon footprint y'all so um, I was good and I didn't repurchase this only for that reason, but once I have a few more products that I need to repurchase from them, or maybe they come out with something new that I want to try, then I will get another bottle of that shampoo because that is one of my favorite shampoos for my natural hair. And another Mish favorite, this is the Peaches and Cream Limited Edition Deep Conditioner. Yes, I finished one. I have two more in my stash, so I'm Gucci. I'm almost finished with my sugar cookie and peppermint one, so those will probably be in the next empties. But this is so good, y'all. Like, this was one of those deep conditioners, like, I could not put down. Like, this just got introduced to my collection, and I'm already finished with one. That tells you how good this product is to me. Just the way this glides through my hair, the moisture but also just the way that it makes my curls look like it also adds like a plumpness to them it's just so so good um i need her to bring this back like anytime she introduces new limited edition products i need this to be there she can get she can get rid of peppermint she can get rid of sugar cookie i need this to come back because this is amazing i have two backups i love this product so much but the fact that this is already in and empties it says a lot i'm also getting down to the ends of my um sweet pumpkin ayurvedic mask as well so uh, uh, i know <laughs> i've been i've really been like using them up i've been using a lot of my products up like 
I used up a lot of hair care in this video, but I have even more that is like right down to the last little bit. So there's gonna be just as much in the next one. This is the last of my supplements body and skin i have the hum daily cleanse this helps clear your skin and um body from toxins this was really really nice i do find that this helps um but i wouldn't i would repurchase it but it's not like i would feel pressed you know what i mean but this did definitely help especially um when my cycle came around i noticed that this helped a lot with the acne so that is a really really nice product but it does take some time to kind of see the effects of it um, but it is really good, especially if you struggle with getting all of the nutrients you need, um, from your foods. Like for me, my issue wasn't overeating. My issue is not eating enough. Like I'll just not eat throughout the day, you know, like that's just as bad. So sometimes I miss out on getting certain things in my diet because I just don't eat. Um, I'm trying to do better y'all like I have I have an eating calendar and everything I'm trying to do better because <laughs> it's really hard to go to the gym and lose weight if you don't eat you know what I mean especially if you're not eating like healthy things like when I eat it's healthy but I just have a really bad habit of like not eating all day and then like eating one meal during a day it's bad I know I know I also use up this Belief Witch Hazel Herbal Extract Toner. This has um, sodium hyaluronate and it's an ultra moisture control herb complex. This is amazing. This is like a milky um, toner and I'm definitely going to get a full size during the VIB sale. That's like the number one product on my list. I also used up their moisturizing eye balm. I really like this. I wouldn't purchase a full size of it, but I always end up getting it in kits and stuff. So I never really have to buy it because it's just always there. I also used up this Dove Advanced Care uh, deodorant in the Rejuvenate scent. This is really nice. It has like a pear and aloe kind of scent. Those are my favorite deodorants because they kind of moisturize my underarms but keep everything, you know, nice and intact. I also use it this Holly, this Holly Go Lightly Wonder Ball Bath Bomb from Lush as well as this Golden Wonder Bath Bomb from Lush. Love both of these. These were both holiday exclusives. So you can't get them anymore, but the next time holiday comes around, check them out. Last but not least, we have Home Fragrance. So I went through a few wallflowers. I have Laundry Day right here. This was really, really nice. Uh, scent notes are fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft lavender. Really, really nice. I had this in the bathroom. I also had this one in the bathroom. This is eucalyptus snowfall. The notes are um, frozen eucalyptus, soft clary sage, and snowy spearmint. This was a great scent in the bathroom. Very clean, very fresh. I actually have another one of these. So I definitely will be putting that back in there. It's a great scent for the bathroom. And what was this one? This was the perfect Christmas. It has a uh, peppermint, there's some cinnamon, and it has like a sugar cookie scent to it. I really like this one too. And I think I have another one. I had this one in my bedroom and it was like my favorite during the holiday season. So I love that one as well. I also have pumpkin pecan waffles that I'm out, out of. It's just sitting in the wall waiting for me to change. So I use that up too. Next for candles, I have this one from Posh that I have been hoarding for like two years. This is the, uh, the from their old Be Humble set. If you have seen my first Posh candle haul, I hauled this and I've been holding on to it because it was limited edition, but it was inspired by Kendrick Lamar's song humble um so this one says sit down and the other one that i used up said be humble um i burned this around the bath it's a really nice fruity scent i love it but i can't get it anymore so there's that <laughs> i went through two of jackie's candles i never did videos on them because when i asked about it like i just didn't really get a response um and i just wasn't going to waste my time honestly like I'll do hauls but as far as like candle reviews go um I don't know like I just I get lots of requests for things but then I do them and then y'all don't watch them so I don't know <laughs> but I do have two of the forever mood candles these were from their um fall launch I got the full kit I actually have the box sitting back there you can see it right there um so I have big hey big head and skinny dipped skinny dipped was my favorite one from the collection 
I um I have another one in my collection actually that I've been burning. This is a really nice like pistachio. This is like pistachio and apple. And it's really good. It's just it's a scrumptious scent. Her fragrances are so unique. Like Jackie's candles are bomb. The burn time is crazy. Like that's the only thing if you get a scent you don't like, you don't have that candle forever. The burn time on these is insane. I got these when they launched. I just burned through these two. Like I literally just burned through these two. Like I literally have to burn these like half the day to get them to burn down anywhere. So this was awesome. I think her, um, I think those candles are still on her website and I will probably order more of Skinny Dipped and I'm definitely going to order more of this one. This is Hey Big Head, y'all. This is so good. This was like an unsung hero. I burnt the literal crap out of this. Look at, nothing, nothing. I burnt the literal crap out of this. Ugh. And I like that the bases on these are thick so I can actually burn them all the way down and not have to worry about them like cracking or anything. This smells like a salted caramel mocha. Like think about you wake up, you make fluffy buttermilk pancakes, a little syrup, and then you brew your own coffee and you make yourself a salted caramel mocha. That's what this smells like. It's so good. And these literally, like, I will burn them downstairs in our dining room because a lot of times I'll kind of turn the dining room into my office because it gets a lot of light. Um, and you can smell it throughout the whole house. This is so good and I need more. So that's Hey Big Head and Skinny Dip um, from Bath and Body Works. I used up a sweater weather candle. This is Fresh Sage, Juniper Berry, Aromatic Eucalyptus, and Fresh Woods. Love this. It's a really beautiful, fresh, aromatic fall fragrance. Like, I smell this and I think of fall. Like, it just smells like a cool, crisp fall morning. So, I love that candle. I usually only get that in the wallflower, but I got it in the candle last year. And I need to start getting the candles more because I love them. I used up Almond Blossom. This is Sweet Almond Blossom, Vanilla Orchid, and Sandalwood. And this is literally as it's described. It's a soft almond scent with some sandalwood. And I really, really like this. I hope they bring this back. I haven't done a candle haul recently just because like I was kind of on hiatus with helping with my dad and everything going on. But if I do purchase any more candles soon, I will do a candle haul for you guys. Um, I also got finished this gingerbread marshmallow candle. Love this one. I shared this, I did a um, Christmas candle haul um, in one of my Christmas vlogs. This has gingerbread spice, eggnog, spice rum, and vanilla frosting. It smells like iced gingerbread cookies. There's no eggnog in this, but it smells really good. So that was nice. This is one of my favorite candles of the season. This was peppermint sugar cookie. This has crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. So good. If you love peppermint marshmallow, you will love peppermint sugar cookie. They didn't come out with peppermint marshmallow this year. So this was like my peppermint candle fix and it's so good. It literally smells like buttery shortbread cookies with like a peppermint icing. It's so good, so comforting. So I love that one. Um, and I think I have like two more. Yeah, I have one that I'm burning now and another one that hasn't been burned. I went through another vanilla birch. Y'all know this is one of my favorite just everyday candles. White birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, and warm sandalwood. Bomb. I literally burned this down to the nubs. <laughs> so good. It's just a really nice, earthy homey vanilla fragrance if you can't do like the really creamy sweet vanilla bean scents try vanilla birch i think this one will really appeal to you i also went through wildberry jam donut this is bomb um this is sweet wildberry jam powdered donut brown sugar crumble with essential oils this is so good it literally smells like a jelly donut it's so good I already have another one over there. I don't know if you can see it. Right, right there, there, right there. I got another one, so. Already got another one in my collection. I got almost all the candles in that collection, actually. This is so good. If you really like 
strawberry pound cake but you want something different try this this is really good i have apple weather this was another one of my favorite fall candles this year um the notes on this are fresh farm sand apples lavender leaves and cinnamon bark with essential oils this is a super duper fresh like honey crisp apple scent and i love it it's so good bomb like so amazing <laughs> so yeah i am a huge fan of this i have two more of them in my stash and this burns so hot it's the luminary packaging so those burn like really really hot so yeah that is it for my empties i am really hyped because i went through so much hair care like way more than i usually do i've been working really hard like trying to get through some of these products um i haven't really been replacing a lot of them because i really just want to see how much i can work through and where my stash is i'm also working on trying to get this room together and revamping everything so i kind of want to whittle down my stash so that it's going to be easier for me to organize and recollect everything once it's time to do so so yeah that is it for my winter empties i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys have been doing a good job of also getting through your personal stashes let me know how's it going down in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video of course if you did make sure you like leave me a comment and subscribe if you enjoy everything you see here and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't forget or miss any of my new uploads I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.